equal to x part so write down higher order differentiation higher order okay right higher order differentiation Okay. Right. Higher order differentiation. Right. What is the medium of the higher order differentiation? Right. Higher order differentiation. What happens? Here, why is the differential function again and again? Right. Why is the differential function of x again and again? Let's see what. Right. If they are given the y. Right, it can be differentiated many more times. Okay, right. Then uh, y equal x cube plus two x square. Then uh, uh, what about d by over dx? Three x square plus four x. Now they are include x terms. Right, that answer not zero. Then it can be differentiated again. Okay, it can be differentiated again, right? Okay, then d one over d x equals zero. It can't differentiate again, but if they have a real function, right, it can differentiate again, right? We can get the differentiation of there, right? Then like that, right, function can differentiate again and again, right? We call that there is a differentiable function of x right with respect to x again. Okay, then we can differentiate that function again and again, right until it is zero. Right, it's not. Then we can write many many more differentiations. Doesn't matter. Right, but once we are zero, right, we need to stop that. Otherwise, we can continue. Right, infinite time. Okay, then right. Then right, if we can differentiate it again and again, right, the derivative is given. Right, we call the final order. Okay, right. Next thing, how about here we have function y. Then we right differentiate right with respect to x. Right. Here we have y. Then we differentiate with respect to x. Then what happens? Here we have d by over d x. Then it can be differentiated again, right? Okay, it can be differentiated again. Then we write it d over d by over d x. Differentiation of d by over d x. Okay, right? It is to be denoted d square by Or d x square second derivative of y, right? Second derivative. How we write it? D square by o d x square. Okay, right? Then o it is a uh, f x, right? Y equal f x. Then we denote that y dash, right? O x dash x. Right, these are notations of that. Okay, there is a function given f x, and there are differentiation is f x. Oh, so, right, it is a d f x over d x. Okay, right, it is a function y. Then we can write y dash. Right, and it is we call the first differentiation. Right, first, right derivative. Okay, first derivative. Okay, right, good. Right here we have first derivative. Okay, this is the first derivative. Okay, this is a second derivative. Okay, right, second derivative. Okay, then that also also can differentiate again. Then we have d over d x of what? 
second derivative dx square okay right d square by over dx square differentiate again okay. then we have uh, d cube by over dx cube right it is be denoted by equal dash right here sorry by dash here right then uh, is y dash and x dash x right first derivative okay right second derivative y double dash x double dash six right third derivative y triple dash x triple dash x right third derivative okay like that third derivative can differentiate again Right, we write d cube by over d x cube. Right, it is the d cube by over d x cube. Right, fourth derivative. Right, then it is y cube. Right, and x cube. Right, fourth derivative. Okay, like that fifth derivative. Right, seven. Right, six. Left, five. Like that, we can write many more differentiations. Okay, this all differentiation, right? From the uh, second derivative, we call it higher or differentiations, right? Order is higher, right? Okay, right? Order is that? Okay, what is the differentiation we take? Higher is a two, three, or four, okay? Right? Then like that, we can just say these are higher order differentiations. And we need to know by these notations. Here we get the Roman one, by Roman two, Roman three, Roman four, and Roman five. Like that, we have our notations. Okay, we need to familiarize that. Okay, because how many times it just is finally by four, right? Okay, right? then we need to know what is that. Okay, right? then these are all the higher order differentiations, right? We write down this. Why is a differentiable function? Why is a differentiable function? With respect to x, why is a differentiable function with respect to x? When there are differentiations. There are differentiations. Write down. Okay, then. right? Then uh, like that we can get the higher order differentiations. Okay, right? Like that we can get the higher order differentiations. Right? We need to know. Right now, uh, let's see the examples. Right here, y equals i x. Right? Y equals i x. Then what happens? Ah. The first derivative we can write d y over d x equal cos x. d y over d x equal cos x. Then, right then, then cos x can differentiate again. Then we write the second derivative d squared over d x squared is a differentiation of cos x is a minus sin x. Minus sin x. Okay, right? Okay. Then 
This function always can differentiate again. A cube y over a cube. That will be a cube. So minus sine x differentiation is the first is again. Okay. Like that, this one also can differentiate again. D O I for derivative right is minus sine cos x differentiation in minus sine x right is the sine x. Okay, right. So like that, we can get the differentiation again and again. We are doing the high order differentiation. Okay, right. I don't know. Right. Yeah. We buy our dx. Three square plus three times two x plus zero. So it is three x square plus six x. Now we can write d by d square by over d x square is that three times two x plus six. Six x plus six. And that derivative. Six and for the value is zero. Okay, and that we can get the presentation of that. Next, now find the next part. Here we have e x times sine x. We need to show the value of the x is for y plus e x plus x. Right in the second derivative and also the third derivative. Let's see. Now I equal dx sine x. Now we get d by o dx. D by o dx equal dx times sine x differentiation plus x plus sine x out dx differentiation dx. But they have a u d. I look at this. E sine x is the y. 
right? And again, right, and it's a y plus ex per set, right? Y plus ex per set. Okay. Now again, we differentiate d squared y over ds squared. d squared y over ds squared. Then right side here, answer of the d y over ds, then that, that we need to differentiate again. Then we have a y, then y differentiation is what? Y differentiation? d y over ds. Yeah, yes, for six, I have a multiplication. Again, we are trying multiplication rule. Okay. Yes, times for six minus sign x plus for six times yes, also you. Now, divide over here minus c x sign x plus three x for six. Look at the answer. Answer we don't have a y, uh, right? ex cos x and ex sin x. Then you know ex sin x is the y. It's okay. But what is the ex cos x? It can be taken in here, right? ex cos x subject in there is equal to dy over ds minus y. Okay, right. If we need to get the substitutors for the second derivative, then we get the y right and d by o d x square. Okay, now we write d by o d x minus y plus d e cos x is a d by o d x minus y. Then two d by o d x minus two y. Is uh, y, now also we need to get the third derivative is what second derivative differentiation again d cube y over dx cube equal two times. Here we have d by over dx is their differentiation d square y over dx square. They have y differentiation dy over two. Then we take this two times the left side to get the answer. Okay. Right. Maybe changes. Are you Right. 
have a more to the old right then question number 11 page number 17 question number 11 